Um, I'm Laura Castro. I'm going to be hosting for you guys tonight. Um, I think it's quite... Um, I've been seeing a lot in the news feed on Facebook, you know, that's always where you see stuff that makes you angry. And um, I've seen a lot recently of people sort of getting annoyed because they've been saying about, have you read the article where like apparently everyone's really angsty about Santa being a guy and like he's got to be like gender neutral or whatever, which um, sort of brought me on to thinking about what I was going to perform tonight and I thought... Why, you know, like some people, and they're not really sure what feminine, fe yeah, sorry, what feminism really is, and uh, they sort of, you know, they think, they, you know, you see like these weird articles like that, and it's probably only a few people that have actually got upset by it, but they think then, oh, you know, feminazis and all that jazz. So I thought I'd read a poem about what feminism is. Ooh. See my segue there? <laughs> so, um, this is feminism realism. Feminism, you say, what's that? Believing female superiority, just women hating men who don't love you back. Stop, no, that's not right. We don't want to be your wife. We just want to live free. Slut, they say, if you sleep around. Frigid, they say, if you choose not to. What I do with my body is none of your damn business. My body is my own, not yours, to judge wise value based on the strongest, the fittest, the prettiest, the skinniest. This is not a mould to which we comply. Stand high, stand proud. This is not where values lie. Don't tell me it's not okay for a guy to cry. Acting like a girl is not an insult. It's called freedom of expression. Why not give it a whirl? In this life, we make our own happiness. It comes from within, not your measurements, your muscle, or the products on your skin. We don't rely on you, nor him, or skinniness to make us look and feel the best. Why should a girl's body be more valued than her brain? Or a guy's pecs over his principles? On poetry, on physics, on life and love, it's so backward. What a shame. Wolf whistles as she crosses the street. Where's the dignity in the words you hurl at her for saying no? No means no. She needs no reason more to decline your offer. She has nothing to owe or when someone begs and pleads to be released. It's not just girls that can be raped. Rape, a word like gravel spat out like venom. It's not your clothes, your top, or your skirt that puts you to blame for the hurt. There is no reason on this earth to rape into someone's free will. No esteem, no belief, no worth. Forget it, that's crap. No one should be violated, annihilated by spiteful words which stick to them like glue. Not by anyone, not even you. So the things people think when they look in the mirror, tell me this. If you had a friend who made you feel that low, not good enough, how long before they're evicted from your life? Go on, go. Almost. What a horrible word. She almost loved him. He almost made it. No one wants an almost heard. Freedom and brotherhood in a world full of hate, full of war, full of death. What is it good for? For love, for good, for life, so don't cause pain, don't cause strife. A child runs away from home every day, each year. Who will speak up and say, this is not okay? Say no to kicks and bruises and fists. Say no to the person who brings you up, then tears you down from everything you've ever loved till you, don't, till you just don't know anymore what your heart is for. Or go to work in a little skirt, not for you, but with intent to impress. You can dress however you choose, just not for the boss who suggested the best way to get client, more clients is through your breasts, not your brain. Wear your smile on your own terms. Do the things you need for you to stop, to step back and to think, I am parched by thirst. I need to put my oxygen mask on first. You are not weak. Never be ashamed. You are strong, beautiful and worthy. Worthy of love, respect and dignity and knows that happiness comes from within. It's in yourself, your wonderful tapestry. When women are paid less for the same job, for the same work, despite wearing that dress, that uses breasts to make money because the worth of a woman lies in the way she looks. The same goes for men too, worried about the gym, their jobs, or that bodybuilder with tattoos. Stop, this is mad. The desire for more. Do little water turns the ground to desert. Sit back, respect and love yourself. Get caught up in experience in life. Grab it with both hands. Help people wherever you can. If love is the flip side to hate, choose always love to spread. Spread it thickly like butter on toast. It isn't the person who has the most. Choose happiness. 
friends, family, passion to choose a life without discrimination against race or colour or gender but love for thy neighbour as the sunflower reaches up to the sun let love grow equality between all people you meet regardless of education, means of communication or the country from which their feet have walked where gay is not an insult and if a boy wants to wear a dress or be a Disney princess, so what? There is no reason on this earth to break into someone's free will. Instead, choose happiness. Let others express how they feel without intimidation of how others will react. It's a fact. Envy, greed, anger, they're deadly. So think of these words and look back. Now tell me, feminism, what's that? Believe in female superiority? Just women hating on men who don't love you back? No, this is not a man's world, it's a home for all, and so we stand tall, stand proud, don't follow the crowd, speak up for those that cannot, because in this world we can never have too much of happiness, respect and love. And this is why I tell you now, speak up for equality in any way how, stand up and be counted, don't fall into the system. Now come on, what's this? This is feminism. Thank you. Okay.